from the bank though. All right, me and Virgil are doing a really short trip, about two hours. Yeah, exactly two hours. We are in the canoe in a stretch of the river I've never been at. We're seeing how far we can go up and down. We're mainly gonna be targeting spotted bass, large mouth, using a variety of tactics. We just had rain last night, but it didn't affect this river a lot, it don't look like. At least if we get hung, we can go over and get it. Damn, I got a leaf already. It was an issue the other day. Freaking dead leaf every throw. He was on there for a good second, though. Oh, Virgil. Yeah, that's a good fish. Guys, I think we just found, I just found us a good place, I think. Nobody fishes down here. This is very low pressured water. Is that a spot? My God, told you they were big in here. Man, he nailed that. Man, I'm gonna get a good picture of you there. I guess hold it up for us when you get him off. That's a decent bass there. Guys, we're instantly on these fish. We haven't even been in the water maybe two minutes. And half that time I was getting ready. Heck yeah, man. He's over, that's well over a pound or so, yeah. Good looking colored spotted bass though. Okay. Man. It's a good sign. How did we end up on this damn thing? <laughs> I know there's another one over there though, because I had him on for a few seconds. Dude, somebody must have this in there. Yeah. I just sense it, especially on that dead, that gigantic tree, whatever that is. It's got like a 10 foot trunk on it. Yeah, both of the ones I caught were just like your size. They're all decent size in here for some reason. It's too bad there ain't no smallmouth or other kinds. Damn, I haven't even thrown you yet and you're already getting hung on yourself. Jeez, on both hooks. I had that clown one tied so bad yesterday it kept pulling to the right. Like my knot was off-centered or something. It ain't gonna make it. See, this would have been a good stretch too because there's no trees on that one side. The farmer cut them all out. Think so? I don't know about my poles. I gotta lay them down. Boy, it's awful swift below here. Push your back end around. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> the things we do to catch a fish. <laughs> it's awful swift below here, isn't it? Like it's going around a big shallow spot. It's swift all down through here. My god. That would have been hard by myself. There's starting to be a lot of dead cypress leaves on the water, too. I know. Yeah. Hard to get in, though, without you know what happening. <laughs> yeah, it's real swift all the way down through here. That's, was that a fish? Oh, he hit it again. Yeah, he did. Oh my God. I got it. Oh man, it's big. There we go. All right, I just stole Virgil's fish, guys. But hey, we're even now. We each got one fish. He hit his lure literally, what, two or three times, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> and, then I, and then when he had it up all the way in the 
canoe or it had it reeled back in i casted right where it hit it and he hit mine nice little spotted bass at least we each caught a fish now it's not a bad spot we've just been having really bad luck guys with snags and no that's a large mouth yeah sure is it ain't got the lines on its belly a little bitty large mouth stockpiled and when the, the guy was interviewing him, he said they've had it stockpiled for months. Okay, and how are you going to have it stockpiled if you didn't know it was going to work yet or not? Oh, man. Man. Yeah. See, the fish are nice down here. They're all big. They're all big down here. Another spotted. Every fish is decent we've caught at least. Guys, we've only caught three today, but they've all been decent. I'll, I'll get a good photo of you. I'm zooming. We're going to have to head back to the car pretty soon. It looks like we can't go any further anyway. They don't look very promising. He's fat. Here, hold on a second. He's a fat one. Hey, we caught three. It wasn't a waste of time. Yeah, but what I was saying, it okay, if you've had it, I just wish I could get up above the bridge, that one spot, if I could get through there and then have a good while where, because I know, you got one? Oh, man. Damn. I'm going to try. Hey, we got four fish, guys. Oh, of course it messed up. Oh. Huh. catch one along this right bank right here where it's calm like right there yeah I don't know they're not liking my crankbait they're liking that blue I guess or something now how am i not going to get one watch this i should i deserve one for that i just oh yeah like i said i deserve one for that oh what is it a long, <laughs> long ear yeah long ear? look at this guys on the crankbait of all things my god he's big he ain't much bigger than the lure itself that's kind of late in the year to catch a sunfish on a lure my gosh. Huh. Hey, we caught two more right at the end anyway. Pretty cool. That's funny, I said I deserve one. <laughs> like two seconds later. Hit that. Yep. Not very deep right here. <coughs> scary looking bridge though it's wood and rock no you can't drive over that there's no way there's spots with four or five boards missing <laughs> I was thinking maybe back in the day but yeah what really even then just a model to, like, I don't know that's weird like, it's gotta be <laughs> private property. I wonder if that's on bridge hunter or, or whatever that website's called bridge hunters that's pretty cool actually works this this guy just goes around and takes he finds all the bridges and you can research them so of course all of them's going to be on a river so it's cool 